This video will show you how to create lighter and stronger parts using generative design and synchronous technology in Solid Edge ST10. Generative design mimics nature's evolutionary approach to design, removing material depending on the stress calculated at each node. It allows you to visualise what force, torque and pressure look like. For the first example we will look at a simple block. I'll create a block and add a hole through the centre. On your toolbar you will have a tab for generative design. The first step is to apply a material to your part. For this part I will choose aluminium. If you don't have the side pane pinned, select the generative design pane and pin it in place. Select create generative study. You will see your study appear in the generative design pane. First you need to assign your design space. Pick your design body. When creating the design space, leave as much material on the part as you can within the space constraints of your assembly. Generative design works by removing material so you don't want to unnecessarily constrain the design. Moving along the toolbar, select the regions to preserve. In this case we will preserve the outer shape of the block and the hole in the centre. Now apply the force. Force can be applied along a vector normal to the face or by X, Y and Z components. Now select the regions of your design that will remain fixed, in this case the centre hole. In the generative design pane you can see the loads, constraints and design space we have just set up. Finally select generate. Low quality is sufficient for initial studies. I will use the default of 50% material reduction. The study runs and a construction body is created with your generative results. You can switch the visibility of the design and construction bodies on and off. You can rerun the study by selecting generate and change the target mass. Altering the target mass will alter the result you achieve. As you would expect, changing the loads or the way the part is constrained will affect the result. You can add additional loads to your study or edit the existing ones. I will change the loads so that they are pulling on each face of the block. This study has run for less than 30 seconds and we can see a completely different shape is required. Each corner is equally supported and the design is symmetrical about the X and Z plane. I will change the loads again and now the design is symmetrical about the diagonal. This is just what you would expect, material has been removed where it is not required. A traditional approach to reducing part weight would be to run FEA on the model analyse where the stress is low and reduce weight manually. With this connector block, you can see that there are many regions with low stress. The generative design tool within Solid Edge does the work for you, removing material where it is not required to give you an optimised design. To directly edit your result, simply detach it from the study and work with the mesh model in Solid Edge as normal.